So hey everyone, I'm sorry about my skin, I literally have no power to fix this, but welcome to another video and in today's video I'm gonna show you a quick tutorial on how to make those um, movie ink decals, I'll show you in a second what I mean. So if for some reason you don't know what I'm talking about or maybe you don't remember, I'm talking about these kind of things that moves and a lot of you have been asking me like how to do those stuff and I basically decided to show you today how do I make this? I basically didn't finish with the Royal Homestar Speed Build, but I think we can do a little stuff just so I can show you that because I think it's a very nice tool to add to your games. And yeah, let's get started. So first thing you want to do is to go on Roblox Studio. I just put here like a very basic base plane. And what I'm gonna do is to insert a part. So what you want to do right now is to actually make this part in kind of the size of your uh, board. So I usually start with a dummy so I can actually see the proportions. So there is like, I think a default, um, a default plugin that Roblox comes, Roblox Studio comes with. So I'm gonna just quick do like the shape that I want. So that's kind of the proportions I want for my for my um, things to do. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna make a quick animation or a GIF file. Um, you can find it from the internet and I usually make it with Blender. If you want a tutorial, if you want a tutorial on how to make those animations, I can show you like in a different tutorial. But after you do this animation, make sure you render it kind of in the shape of the size of this part. So like if you want something kind of in this proportions, so don't make it like wider like that because it's literally not matching the size. Try to make it kind of so it will match. So when you put the texture on, it will look like not smudged to all the kind of direction. So kind of make it proportions on and on the right size. It obviously can be the exact same thing, but try your best. The next thing you want to do is, after you have this animation, you want to make sure it's a GIF file. So what I recommend you to do is go to the website, I have the link down below, and what you're going to do is to choose a file. So I'm going to just pick this file, for example, it's already a GIF, so I can convert it to a GIF, but if it's not a GIF, so you can go to this website and choose what kind of a format you want. Basically, after you chose that it's gonna be a GIF, you're gonna convert and download it to this computer. Link in the description, uh, you can use that. Now, after you have a GIF file, what you wanna do is go to another website, and which I will leave another link in the description. And what you're gonna do is to choose a file. And so after you choose a file, you're gonna see that in a few seconds, we will have all the keyframes right here. So what you wanna do next is to right click and save image as um, in whatever language you want. So as you can see, I have everything here for all the animations I ever had. So uh, I think I already recorded a tutorial, but it didn't work well, so we're just gonna do another one, so... And gonna click on save. Now, what you wanna do is to... Uh, okay, that's... We're gonna, late, we're gonna wait for later. Because what you wanna do next is go back... Next thing you wanna do is to go to this website, which I really need to give a big shout out to this man here that basically without him i could not ever do such a thing um he literally have a game that you can open right here you can go and open this it will open automatically the roblox game you have and what's special with this game is you can go and edit the game and what you can do with the edit thing is to open this game and through there, you can actually get the script that you need in order to make those animations stuff. So after it set it up everything, you're supposed to get the game. So you have a bunch of examples. So if you like turn on the game and you start to play this, you can actually see how smooth it works and how good it works. And you'll be surprised, you'll be surprised of how easy it is with this game. So literally a big shout out to this man who literally showed everyone how to do this thing 
What you're gonna do is go to one of those parts. It's not really matter who, what of them because it's basically all the same. And you're gonna click on this texture thing. Inside the texture you have a script. So what you're gonna do is to click on the texture with a right click and click on copy. Now, what you next wanna do is to open another file. I just closed my older one. So just reopen a new base plate. And again, just insert a part, doing in the right proportions of your file, of your video, um, and yeah. Okay, we will go with something like that. Now what you want to do is to click on this part and click paste into. You can actually use Ctrl Shift R B if I'm not wrong, but then you get this thing. Now the next thing you want to do is to go on this texture and delete this and go to your create button and and just go to where you uploaded the pictures. I just forgot to mention it. You need to upload um, this picture. You need to upload it to Roblox. So when you upload this it's supposed to be like that and then you're gonna click and copy the ID of this picture now what you next want to do is to go back and paste this on where it says texture so control V and there you have it now for make it actually work because right now if we will play this you will be able to see that it's not exactly do what we want this to do it will look like that which looks pretty off I'm not talking about it the end short but it's does it doesn't look good at all trust me about that and so what you want to do with this thing is go back to your picture that you have right here and you want to count the rows and the columns just like that so like I have one two three four five six seven eight nine um columns and one two three four five rows so um, I'm gonna go to the script and I'm gonna open it so now you have this kind of script and it's very very easy to set it up so we said we have five rows so I'm gonna leave it like that and about the columns we have nine columns if I'm not wrong now since I did it on blender I had the option to see how much frames I have if you don't know how much frames you have, you can literally count this or just do a quick math um, thing and just solve this problem. It's not really that bad, but I just know I have 40 frames, so I'm just gonna set it up. So I have 40 frames, 5 rows, 9 columns. Now if you do this all right, that's supposed to work. So like when I'm now running on the game, it should look like that. Now one very important thing is the texture needs to be on the front of the part. So like if you go to the texture and you'll go to face, you need to make sure it's set on front because if it's not set on front, it's not gonna work. So like if you want the, all the object to be face to there, so you'll need just to rotate this like that. And if you want it to be from the both sides, you'll need to duplicate this and flip one of them to the other side and just work like that because it's not gonna work um, in in the face that is not the front. So you need to make sure it's on the front of this part. And that's how it is. It's very, very easy and it's very, very nice and cute. And I think it actually adds a lot to your place and your game. So I really hope you liked this video, if it did help you, you can obviously leave a like, it's gonna make me very very happy. And if you have any kind of question, you can obviously ask me down on the comments. I also recommend you to join my Discord server, you can literally have, you can have a section for all the questions that you have right here. So you can ask me right there, so yeah, let's go join my Discord. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Um, bye!